through this workout today. What do you need for today's class? A set of weights. If you're still fairly new to HIIT or new to the intermediate, go somewhere light. And if you're not, feel free to grab yourself a more moderate weight. You're also going to need a mat for today's class because we do have some work down on the floor. So clear some space for yourself, having room today to go side to side and forward and back. Now, if you're new to my HIIT classes, how it's set up is we start with a two minute warm up, just get our body warm, loosened up, and then we're going to get into the main body of work, which is 26 minutes long, non-stop cardio and strength training. We have four sets in the class. So the first two sets, we're just going to continue to warm up, get to know those options, get to know our body. And then the final two sets is really where we can work ourselves and challenge. And I'll definitely give you some more challenging options at that point. Um, also to mention that each move is 30 seconds long, you'll hear a ding into the music and that's when we're going to go into the next move. So when you hear that ding, look at me, check out the move, know if you need to go down or up or grab your weights and then you can join in when ready. It might take about 5, 10, 15 seconds to do that, but that's okay. Whenever you get there and set, you can begin that move. And then after that, we're going to end with a two minute cool down and stretch. All right, so clear some room for yourself. Get that mat, get those weights. And as you see, I'm wearing red and white today. Why is that? Because the music today is a tribute to Justin Bieber. Yes, go Canadians. <laughs> All right, so when you're ready, come join me. Just have your weights at the front of your mat. So as we warm things up, let's start with a jog on the spot. Yeah, getting those heels towards your buttocks, getting those arms bumping, chest is up. Are you ready to do this? Yes. Now, if the dog is too much, you can always start with a march instead. I'm going to be giving some low impact options today because if you're in maybe a park and you're not able to jump up in the air or maybe you have issues with the knees, that you might not be able to get that high impact movement. So, watch out for those the lower impact options today. Now, next one we're going to take it to jumping jacks. So, in and out with the feet. And again, if we're not jumping, check it out. Alternating side tap instead. You got it. Yeah, we're just warming up here. So, take it easy. Especially if you've been singing the animals today, or maybe you just rolled out of bed. <laughs> All right, next four move, fast feet. Feet wide, let's go. Fast on those feet. We've got some agility work today. Work those fast and slow twitch muscle groups. Yeah. The body's not gonna know what's going on today, but it's gonna get a whole lot stronger, a whole lot leaner. Yeah, keep going. Now last four move, standing arm circles, feet in your hips, stand tall. Let's get those arms going around. Pull those abs in nice and tight. We're going to use that core strength today to help support us. And you're going to build some good core strength today as well. Almost done that warm up. How are you feeling? Ready to start that first set of four? Yeah, keep those arms going around. Now let's do it. We start our first set. First move, bicep curls with alternating backwards leg extension. So as you grab your weights, feet in your hips, abs in, palms forward, check this out. Right leg extends behind as you curl. And then it lowers down. It's alternating, so a little bit of balance work. Your leg is straight as it lifts behind. So you're going to work on glute, that hamstring, abs pull in. Now with the biceps, spreading the arms working. Oh yeah. Now you're going to put your weights down, get into our first cardio move. So have those things out of the clear. We're going to start, start with squat kick. So here, you squat kick, squat kick. Now if you're keeping it low impact today, check it out. We take out the jump. We squat and then we kick. You decide. It's your workout today. All moves work. So you decide the one that works best for you today. Next move, back into strength, plank to bear. So no weights needed, this is a good core move. We start with plank. So hands under shoulders, abs in. Now bear, we walk it in. And then we walk it back. Walk it in, walk it back. So we step. Notice the knees come right underneath the hips. 
Play the table position. Pull those abs and maintain a flat back. So you can look down between your legs or just beyond the fingers. Now next side, you're in that bear. We're going to bear jacks, in and out with the feet. Oh yeah, this is a challenging cardio move. Relying and using that core strength. Remember, if you're not jumping, you can take it to a side top here and step. Keep a nice strong upper body. Again, you can add that jump if you like it. Now from here, knees down. Let's take it to strength on our back. We're going into bicycles, yeah? We're continuing to work that core. So as you come on down, abs in, fingers to temples, elbows wide, legs 90 degrees. Now we're going to do a leg extension with a twist. Opposite shoulder towards knee. Now exhale, twist, in and lower. And if we find this is too much, check it out. Change it to a toe tap instead of a leg extension. All right, I need you to grab those hamstrings and roll it all the way up. Come up to standing for your next cardio move. We're going into lateral side shuffle, touch down. Remember we need that space? So whatever space you have today, you're gonna shuffle to the side. So if you don't have a lot of space, that's okay. Shuffle as far as you can. Maybe you're gonna pick up the speed for that intensity. It's the hand on the outside that touches down. Last one here. Let's take it to straight. Single lunge, arm circles. Grab your weights. I'm gonna face to the side because of my space, but you can always face forward. Right foot forward, left foot back, square the hips. And then here, palms face forward. Check this out. We're gonna lunge down, circle the arms. Yeah, above the head, and then down to the sides of the body. This is gonna work. Your upper back, lats, shoulders, your glutes and thighs. Last one, let's step it in, let's lose the waist. Have them in the front of your mind. We've got cardio, we're going into burpee high knees. So we've got one burpee, jump it in, and then get those knees up nice and high above the hips. One burpee, one high knees. If you're not jumping, check it out. Hands down, step it back. Step it in, then march. All right, that's your option if you want today. Last one, those high knees. Whew. Now from here, pulsing sumo squats. So, here, feet wide, toes turned out. I need to drop low. Interlace those fingers and pulse. So now we're working to those big muscles, glutes and thighs. Actively press those knees open, keep your chest up. Feel those side glutes. Hips, groin, all those good lower body muscles working here. Squeeze on up and let's step it in. Let's go into cardio. We're going into ladder runs. You need space to front. We're going out, out, in, in. We're taking it forward and then we're taking it back. Now, if you don't have space to move forward and back, then you're just going to stay right here on the spot. All right? I suggest this not doing this on the mat because if your mat's slipping around, we don't want to slip and cause injury, okay? All right, next time you come on back, let's take it into that strength. Tricep dips. So come on down. No weights needed, work in the back of the arms. Find a reverse table position, hips up. Now fingers face towards the heels. Notice what the arms are doing here. This is an arm movement, not a glute movement. Your elbows bend straight back and then your arms straightening. So it's not a pelvic press. No, we're working the arms here. You got it, last one. Now cardio, come to the lower chair back. Speak yourself around for mountain climbers. Find that plank, let's do it. Drive those knees forward as fast as you can. This is cardio, so this is really where we hit our peak. Feeling breathless, I know. You're warm now, aren't you? We're almost done. First set. So you almost know every single move we're gonna come into today. We just have one more move coming down to your belly. We're gonna go into airplane and we're gonna open and close the legs. So here, abs and glutes engaged, lift up to airplane. Arms, legs, and chest. Now look at the legs. Open and close. Open and close. Yeah, you're really gonna feel this into the inner thighs and glutes. 
So lift that chest, look forward, working the back muscles as well. All the good, strong muscles in the back. Now release that down, we take it from the top. So when you're ready, come back up to standing, grab your weights, we're gonna take it into alternating leg extension with the bicep curls. So backwards leg extension. This is what it looks like. Side view. So notice the leg is straight. We do not arch the back, so pull your abdominals in. Full range with the curl, all the way up, all the way down. Last one. Put those weights down. Let's go to that cardio. Into squat kick. Now you remember your lower impact options, right? We take out the hop. Doesn't mean we have to take it easy though. Give it a good strong kick and get low into that squat. You got it. Keep going. Get 30 seconds in as much as we can at the 30 seconds. Last one. Let's go to strength. Plank to bear. So come on down to your bed. Set the plank and let's do it. In, in, out. Out. Now this doesn't have to be quick, okay? You can slow it down. Really stay strong and stable with this. Yeah, feel that core strength in your body. Breathe in here, catch your breath. So when it's cardio, we're able to get that heart rate back up. A little bit of active recovery. So next time we're not there, bare chest, even out with the feet. Now I know this is a tough one. Lower impact option. Side tap instead. But we came to work today, right? We didn't choose beginner hip. We chose intermediate. We're looking for that greater challenge today. So here it is. Keep with that challenge. Last one. Let's take down to the knees and then all the way to our back. Let's do it. Bicycles. Abs in. Hands wide, elbows wide, and let's twist. Now your choice, if you'd like to stay up, keep your upper back off the floor, you can do that. Or you can lower down with each one. Lower your back and head. Now if you're going for that leg extension, can you extend the leg a little further? Can you keep your pelvis stable? Last one. Here, grab the hamstrings, abs in, roll it all the way up. And then from here, all the way to standing, we're going into Lateral side shuffle with the touchdown. You remember this? Now this time I want you to bend your knees more and see if you can touch all the way down. All the way, keep your chest up so you're not bending your back, but you're bending your knees. It's better for your back if you do that. Yes, last one. And here, let's get ready for some strength. Single lunge, arm circle, grab those knees again. This time, left foot forward, right foot back. Set your stance, palms forward, chest up, single lunge with those arm circles. Woo! Now can you bend both knees in that lunge? Yeah, aiming your back knee down towards the floor, working the glutes and thighs, biggest muscles of the body. All right, last one. Step it in, lose those weights, and let's do it, burpee to high knees. Jump or step. The choice is yours. You'll notice that with the step, you can still get good speed. All right. Just take it out the jumping with me. But of course, if you got that energy, you're able to jump, then go for it. <laughs> Sometimes it feels good just to jump up in the air. Last one here. All right. Let's go into strength. Now, if you want a little more this time, see those squats pulsing. Grab one weight. It's just an option. Feet wide, toes turned out, drop low, and pulse. Now, if that weight is too much, you can put it down. The key is to get low. So if you're not low, lose the weight. The work is down here. Breathe, catch your breath. Now squeeze on up, step it in, lose the weight. You're going into the lateral, the ladder. In and out with the feet, taking it forward if you have that space, and then taking it back. So yeah, in and out as fast as you can go here. 
And nothing wrong, it's fine. If you're gonna keep it on the spot today, again, if you are, you're gonna stay off the mat. Yeah, you don't wanna be doing this movement on the mat. All right, let's go into the strength, try some dips. So now let's get down to that mat. Let's do it, bring the back of the arms. Set hands, fingers forward. Let's bring it. Once you're there, now get those arms straight each and every time. Straighten and bend. Chest up, look forward. Breathe. Are you feeling the intensity yet? Guess what? You're almost at your halfway point. Yes. Almost halfway. Last dip here. And let's lower buttocks. Bring it around for mountain climbers. Let's do it. Set up that plank and drive those knees forward. Keep the shoulders over wrists so you're not up here looking at your feet and knees. The work is down here. Yes, we can drive those knees between the arms. We get that maximum speed for that maximum cardio. Yes, you feel that? Notice that sweat dripping down your back. All right, let's come down all the way to the belly. Finding that airplane. Arms and legs extend out. Create that space. Abs and glutes engage, lift up. Let's go, in and out with the feet. Now there is an option to intensify to hold weights in the hands. So if you've been doing this move for a while, bring those weights in the hands. You usually have to start with pretty light weights to do that though. So if you got something pretty heavy, that's okay. Next time. Now release that down. Let's come back up. All the way to standing. Take it from the top. Third set out of four. Grab those weights. Bicep curls with the alternating backwards leg extension. How you doing? So now that we're in set three or four, we're gonna see if we can increase that range, still maintaining good form, and really going for that challenge. If we haven't challenged yourself yet already. Last one here, lose the weights. Squat kicks. Let's do it. You hear that music? Keep going. I'm gonna turn that music up. I don't think you hear it. I think you need a little bit more. Just a little more, right? Yes. You're doing awesome. Can you stick with me a little longer? I know this is probably the toughest thing you've done today and probably the toughest thing you're gonna do. This is gonna get you stronger, physically and mentally. Last kick. Let's take it two straight. Come down, set that plank. And let's get ready for the bear. In, in, out, out. Oh yes, breathe it here. Feel that good core strength you already have in your body as you're doing this. Can you feel those muscles working and getting stronger? The stronger they get, the easier this gets. It does get easier. <laughs> now next time you're not there, bear jacks, in and out. Gonna keep that flat back as much as you can. So knees are pretty low to the floor. Woo. This is definitely an intermediate cardio move. <laughs> Come on, keep going. Lower those knees. Take it down to your back. Let's work those side abdominals and those bicycles. Set it up. Begin when you're ready. It also works the lower abs. Whether you're on the toe tap or the leg extension, it works those center abdominals as you lift the upper body. And if you need more, of course, you can keep your body up off the floor. Last one. Grab those hamstrings, roll it all the way up, and all the way up to standing. For that cardio, side shuffle, touch down. So we know we bend our knees a lot when we touch down. If you want more, keep the knees bent on that shuffle, yeah? Staying low. Notice how that changes things, making it more intense. I want you to feel that intensity. Last one here. All right, let's go to the single lunge. Half circle arms, grab those weights. Right foot forward, left foot back. Such a stance. Let's do it. Down and up. Now this time, can you get lower into that lunge? Those arms are nice 
Sitting back, feeling the weights tuck together overhead, and I'm feeling them tuck to the sides of your thighs. Last one. Step it in, lose those weights, and let's go into the burpee to high knees. Let's do it. Whew. Burpee, high knees. Can you get those knees up a little higher? Yes, I know you can. You can do anything you set your mind to. Come on, let's go. Hold the floor up, you can get those knees up. Last one with the high knees. Pulse and single squats. So again, if you like, grab that one weight. Set that stance. Feet wide, toes down. Get lower pulse. Breathe in here. Especially if you're feeling a bit dizzy, head stays up. Relax shoulders. Yes. See if we can catch our breath. Squeeze on up. Step it in. Move the weight. Let's go into the ladder. Bring forward and back. Get on the spot here. Or forward and back. And you know with those feet. Now if you have a ton of room today, I want you to go further ahead. I want to see your sweaty face right up in here. Yeah. Do you see mine? Do you see that sweat? Oh yeah. It's there. <laughs> All right. Next time you come back, let's get ready for the strength. Try some dips. Come on down. Set it up as quick as you can. I know all the tricks. <laughs> yeah, feel that squeeze. Take a lift in that chest up each and every time. Oh yeah. Upper body, lower body, evenly getting strong today. See, you don't need weights to get strong. Lower your butt down, skate around, mountain climbers. From that plank, drive those knees. Squeeze those arms and keep pushing through palms and fingers. Full hands here. Make it challenging, but make it so you can do it. And 
not give up. You've come too far to give up. Let's keep working together. All right, knees down. Come down to your back. Let's go into those bicycles. Woo, it's like a pool here. We be swimming in the legs very soon. I wouldn't mind that, actually. <laughs> Knees. And if you still need more, they got this pace. And we're going to go over the quicker this time. Yeah? Woo. Keep bending those knees. Last one. All right, we're going to do that single lunge. Half circle, draw the weights. Left foot forward, right foot back. Palms forward, chest up. Let's do it. Let's increase that range again. Can you get deeper into that lunge? Knee pointing forward. Other knee comes down to your back. Or if you're not on a mat, that's fine. Down to the floor. Next time you come up, step it in. Whew. Use those weights. Let's go into the bird behind knees. Come on. Let's do this. Go like birdies. The good news is, this is the last climbing stuff. Squeeze those abs in. Woo. Last time. Let's have high knees. Woo. Now grab your weight or no weights. You want more this last round? Grab both weights. Sumo and pulse these squats. Let's do a drop low and pulse. Catch your breath. Now if you're up here, can you get down here? I invite you to get lower. Lower into that work. So keep your chest up. Breathe. Now squeeze on up. Step it in. Lose your weight. Final two minutes. Ladder. In and out with those feet. Taking it forward and taking it back. Yeah, keep going fast as you can on those feet. You got that space? Come further ahead. Show me that sweaty face of yours. I see ya. Those nice rosy cheeks. Let's come on down for the dips. Set it up. Let's do it. Woo! How you doing out there? You just have two more moves to go. We're going to go on mountain climbers. That airplane in down with the legs. That's it. Then we're going to start to bring that home right down, cool down and stretch. Let's touch through. Lower your left down. Bring it around to that final cardio move. Let's do it. Down to climbers. Can you drive those knees as fast as you can? Doesn't have to be with the music music. Off the beat. Empty up that pig. No regrets. If this is your workout of the day, workout of the week, get it done. Let's do it. Finish strong. All right, come all the way down to your belly. Weights if you want it. You didn't give it a try yet. Maybe we're going to give it a try now. Woo! Abs and glutes engage. Lift going up, getting out with the feet. Woo! Lift that chest, look forward. Woo! The weights are too much, bring them down. Keep lifting the arms up though. Don't let your body fall. Keep it up. Keep up those legs a little wider now. Last one, bring it in. Oh, we release it down. That was a buzzer. You are done. You did it. Amazing job. Rest of the hands and knees, come on up. Whew. Oh my gosh. Amazing job. Let's come up to standing. We're going to cool down and stretch. 
right leg. Swing those arms, loosen the hips and shoulders. Now that was a good work I was in, just 30 minutes. Quad stretch, grab your front, knee faces to the floor, arm out for balance. Stand tall, hold something if you need it to help with balance. Important to get that stretch in. Really work the quads and the lunges. Squats today. Release that down, we're swing the left leg and arms. Loosen the hips and shoulders. Now to the quad stretch, grab your foot, knee faces down, arm out for balance, standing tall. And if we keep pulling the little bit between those abs, that will give us support here as well. Squeeze your glutes. All right, let's release that down, feet a little wider. We're gonna crisscross the arms, loosening through the upper back and shoulders. Now bring your right arm across for a shoulder stretch. Woo, relax shoulders. Yeah, heart rate's still up there, but it's coming down a little bit. <laughs> It'll get there. Let's crisscross one more time. Then we're going to bring the left arm across for that shoulder stretch. Okay, relax shoulders. Now, what are we also going to need? Some water. Yes. Please hydrate yourself after this class. Take a little more time to stretch. You're done. Activity complete. Release the arms, roll the shoulders a few times. And thank you so much for joining me here today. Again, shout out to Justin Bieber and some amazing music to get us through our workout today. An amazing job, everyone, for joining me and working so hard. All right, you take care, and I'll see you back here soon. Bye for now.